Target CPA and Target ROAS are two of the automated bidding strategies in Google Ads. But what do I mean when I say automated bidding strategy? Let's first review what bidding strategy in Google Ads means. Bidding strategy is the approach that determines how much you are willing to pay for clicks on your ads. Your bidding strategy is one of the factors that determines whether your ad wins an auction and is shown to users. When a user searches for something on Google or visits a website that shows Google ads, an auction takes place to determine which ads will be displayed. Google uses a combination of factors, including your bidding strategy, to determine which ad is the most relevant and valuable to the user. The ad with the highest ad rank, which is determined by your bidding strategy and other factors like quality score and ad relevance, typically wins the auction and gets displayed to the user. These are some of the common bidding strategies that you can select for your campaigns. Manual CPC, as you can guess from the name, is a manual bidding. It means you can control your keyword bids and how much you are willing to pay for each keyword. Target CPA and Target ROAS are two automated biddings that we are discussing in this video. Automated biddings are also called smart bidding. You give targets to Google's algorithms, so it determines how much to bid for your keywords. To use target CPA and target ROAS bidding, you need to set up conversion tracking in your Google Ads account. The reason is that based on the historical data of conversions that you receive, Google's algorithms can optimize your bids. A conversion action in Google Ads is an action that a user takes on your website that you consider valuable, such as a purchase or filling out a lead form or subscribing to a newsletter. By tracking these actions, you can measure the effectiveness of your ad campaign and optimize them to drive more conversions. The CPA in Target CPA stands for Cost Per Acquisition. To calculate CPA, you need to divide the total cost of your advertising by the number of conversions you have received during a given period of time. For example, let's say you spend $1,000 on Google Ads in a month and received 100 conversions such as 100 purchases or 100 lead form submissions during the same period. Your CPA would be $1,000 divided by 100 which is $10 per conversion. So in this example, it costs you an average of $10 for each conversion you receive from Google Ads campaign during that month. In this bidding strategy, you set a target cost for each conversion or acquisition, meaning that you specify the amount you are willing to pay for each conversion and Google's algorithm will automatically adjust your bids to try to achieve that target. Target CPA is usually used when you have a form on your website and you want users to complete that form after clicking on your ad. As an example, if you set a target CPA of $50, Google will try not to exceed that target when adjusting your bids. You may not always hit your target CPA every time, but the algorithm will continue to learn and optimize your bids over time to improve your chances of hitting your target. If your target CPA is too low compared to your competitors, 
Google might not be able to spend enough money to get conversions. On the other hand, if your target CPA is too high, it might increase your cost per click and therefore make advertising unprofitable for you. Now let's talk about target ROAS. The ROAS in target ROAS stands for return on ad spend. To calculate ROAS, you need to divide the total revenue generated by your advertising by the total cost of your advertising during a given period of time. For example, let's say you spend $1,000 on Google Ads in a month and generated $5,000 in revenue from these ads during the same period. Your ROAS would be $5,000 divided by $1,000 which is 5. So in this example, for every dollar spent on Google Ads, you generated $5 in revenue. This bidding strategy helps advertisers maximize their revenue by setting a target for their ROI from advertising spend. With target ROAS, you can tell Google Ads how much revenue you want to generate for each dollar spent on ads and the system will automatically adjust your bids to help you achieve that target. Target ROAS is especially very common among e-commerce websites. If you determine that to make revenue from your products you need to achieve a ROAS of 4 you set a target ROAS of 4 and the algorithm will try to get you that ROAS. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and leave comments if you have any questions about target CPA and target ROAS bidding strategies.